Since we're talking about teams, I really wanted to talk to you about what are called team libraries. These are a great way to be able to share things like components across a team. That way you have a central location or a central area where you can share assets. This can be a way to share a design system you're creating, for instance. So with a project file open here, and it's part of a team, if I come down here, you're going to see we actually have our components. If I click on components, you can see we've got our components there. Now, these are things that were saved before. And if you look down here, you'll also see publish file to library. This allows the other team members to be able to use these components. Down at the bottom here, you're actually going to see the team library. Now, this is a professional team feature. So it's not going to be used with the free team version. So we need to upgrade our app if we're going to use this. So let me do that. I'm going to click upgrade our app. We're going to take a look. This is basically the admin area, essentially, which we can get to. And these are the editors on our team. And if you look here, it says you will be charged for all editors. You need to be careful of that. If you have 100 people, which you really can't, but as a free person, but uh, you would go in and you say downgrade to a viewer so you don't have to pay for them. So I'll click here. Choose a payment plan. I'll do a monthly plan now. And I'll enter the payment information. So I'll be back in just a second here. All right, I've entered my credit card info. I'm going to accept the terms here. And we've just been updated. So now we are a professional team. At least I am part of a professional team. So you're going to see here that they're going to renew monthly every month. And if we want to, we can do an annual plan. We can do all kinds of things here. You can upgrade people, downgrade people, so you don't pay for them the next month. There's a lot of things we can do here. Okay, now we can start using the, the team library sharing feature. So back to our app. I'll click on our hiking app there and then double click the file here to open it up. Back in the file, you should now see that we have the team library uh, tab open here and there's nothing published yet. We have to go to components to do this. So click on components. In this panel, you'll see publish file to library. Now this basically means it's gonna take all of your components and publish them. What you can do if you want to is publish them independently. So I can click on one of these, right click on it, and you'll see publish the one component. Or you can just simply say publish file to library. Now it's going to seem misleading here because this is selected, but it doesn't matter. It's going to publish them all. So if you click publish file to library, it's going to publish them. It says published in library. You're now going to see that each one of these, if you click on them, is going to have a minus sign. That's going to say remove it from the shared library. Now come down here to the shared library and click on app design and you should now see that we've got our two different objects in here. If we want to use these in another file for instance or in this file you just drag it out and you can add a, an instance essentially. So we've got one in here. Now if we want to use it in a different file this is the best part. You come back up here go back to the files. Let's insert a new file. It's a blank file. It should open it up. And you're going to see, we still see the team library. Now you can start working with that content within another file. Now the great thing about this is that if we come in here and we decide, you know what, I need to edit this. If I come in here and start double clicking and grabbing, clicking on content, I can go into fill, for instance, and start changing the fill color. And you're going to see it's not going to do anything for me. Like working with components, we need to go back to the original library item. So if you come back to the library item here, if you right click on it, you can also see it over here, go to master component, click go to master component. It should open it up. It's gonna open a separate browser window here just because it's a separate file within the project. Okay, it's highlighting it for me. If you come into this object and command click on Mac or control click on Windows to select this rectangle, and we go over here maybe to fill or stroke or something like that, or I'll go over here to percentage, we'll change the opacity and crank up the percentage a little bit. There we go, making a change here. Now you're gonna see down here, it says publish your changes to your team library. Do you wanna publish or dismiss? I'll click publish. That's gonna say, all right, bottom, the name of this component will be updated in the library. It'll go from this to this. So I'll click publish changes. That should make the change. Publish the version of the team library. If I go back to the team library now and take a look at app design, there it is, there's the update. If I go back over here, this is the one we created. You're going to see component updates available. Review it. Okay. There's a bunch of them. We can update all or we can not update if we want to do that. I'll click update all. And there we go. It's updated. There are a lot of nuances to working with team libraries that you'll discover. Uh, but this 
is most of what happens. Now, what I want to do is show you what's going on with the other person, the team member that I invited. So let me do that. I'll switch over. All right, so I'm now the other person. I'm the team member that was invited, and I've got these two files now that showed up. I'm going to open up the one here, double-click, take a look at it. And what I want to do is I'm going to take a look at the team library. I can see it already updated here for me. That's good. If I go into the team library, come in here, you're going to see there's the change right there to it. That's good. And if I keep going back over, back to the files, and go back over to this file, this one right here, untitled, I should see the change as well. And this is actually kind of cool. You can see my cursor. So this is the person that invited me. I can see their cursor. So we're now starting to work together. You can see I've got two people showing here. We'll talk a little bit more about that in the next section. Let me switch back over to myself. All right, I'm back over here. I'm gonna go back over to my files and come back to the main file here, the app design file. If you wanna do that, you can. One thing about these, working with components and working with team libraries, if I come into components here and take a look, you're gonna see that all of these are published in the library. If I want to, clicking on the ellipsis here, you can actually remove the files from the library. Now you gotta be careful because it's gonna pull them all out of that library. I'm gonna click cancel. You can, if you want to, if you click on one of these options here and you click on the minus, you can remove an object from the library and that's gonna say, okay, we're gonna publish that one change. It is now private to this file. So you can actually have components in a file that are private to the file or that are part of a team library. So I'll click publish one change. It's gonna be removed from the library, publish changes. There we go. I can now see I only have one, which is navigation. And the navigation, if I drag this out just to show you, is this little, it's actually the, the hamburger menu and that stuff up top. Now, if I go back over to the files that we had open, like this one, this is the old one. Let me go back over to the files. It gets confusing with so many things open. And I open up this one. This content is still here, but it's no longer part of the team library and it's no longer a component. So that means that I could go in if I wanted to, and actually edit this. I can say, oh, let's change the fill of this thing to yellow, and it won't affect anything else. So the team library thing is actually really important. It's something that we're gonna use a fair amount if you work with other people. That way you can take design systems and all kinds of shared content and put them in a team library that you can share.